Adobe Summit 2015 in London. We are here with Justin Maracle, the Senior Director for the Media Optimizer at Adobe. Um, Justin, um, you worked uh, yeah, some years ago for Yahoo in the performance marketing. How was your way to Adobe and how did you see the development of the marketing cloud and especially your media optimizer? Yeah, so I, uh, I was at Yahoo and at Yahoo it was kind of the early days of, um, of programmatic advertising. We had just bought Right Media. Uh, that was getting integrated on a, on a programmatic basis. I saw that opportunity to take what had kind of traditionally been a, a search mindset of bidding inventory and expand that. So from Yahoo, I went to a company called Efficient Frontier. Uh, Efficient Frontier had a very algorithmic approach to search marketing, and we wanted to expand that out into display and, and, and social. Uh, we began that journey, and a few years later, were acquired by Adobe. Uh, that's how I ended up at Adobe. Uh, and Adobe is now investing more and more into that, that programmatic vision. So think of that as algorithmic decisioning uh, across paid media uh, that's linked into smart big data and, and audience, uh, and then ultimately tied into the type of creative that gets delivered in that. So you know where I am now, I'm sitting at, at, at the helm of, of the Media Optimizer business here, working for Brad Rencher. Um, and my goal is to uh, have our software in the hands of both agencies and, and direct marketers so that they can generate stronger returns for the investment that they're putting into digital advertising today. Run me through the process. So for an outsider, it uh, seems like a very complex and uh, hard to explain topic. So what's the technology and so on? How is it working that you can explain a customer, yeah, our technology is, is for that and that, and that's how you use it? Yeah, so I think, I mean, listen, we, we separate it into channels, right? So in terms of paid media, uh, we see advertisers putting investment into display, we see them putting investment into social, uh, and we put it, see them putting investment into search. Mobile's also a development across all of those channels. Um, so the way we talk about it is we're taking a very algorithmic decisioning approach to giving you stronger return on investment across those channels. Uh, in terms of taking complexity out, that's really what we're trying to do on the platform side. So we want our agency and, and direct customers to uh, sit on top of the platform and take complexity out. The programmatic advertising world is, is, is very complex. Um, and what we need to do is build smart workflows that are intuitive so our customers can make the right decisions. How much budget do I invest? Where do I invest it? what are the right messages and the right creative strategies to put in place, um, but do that in intuitive workflows. Uh, so that's our goal and, and that's the way we talk about the product. We want to make them more efficient. We want to make their advertising ultimately more effective with stronger returns. The big part is the, D the integrated DSP. So if you compare it like with your competitors like uh, Adform or AppNexus or, or MediaMass, so they only have one service, what they, what they offer in their, in, in their DSP. So it's the only cell USP for the Adobe Marketing Cloud that you, um, yeah, that you can syn syn synchronize it with all the other marketing p uh, parts in the Marketing Cloud, or you have more benefits? <laughs> uh, well, so, so I think when I look at uh, the programmatic market, right, traditionally we've kind of thought about DSPs, um, and I think about where Adobe's coming from. So our strength is in that algorithmic decisioning, our strength is in analytics and audience, um, and our strength is in creative. And so I, when I look at where the competitors are, I see them looking to broaden their value. Uh, so they're looking to invest in data management platform. We already have what the leading data management platform in the market and audience manager. They're looking to invest uh, in social advertising or search advertising. We already have very strong positions in those markets. Um, so when I look at our strengths, we're bringing that to bear in programmatic. We have a, what we believe is a very strong workflow uh, in terms of a DSP. We believe we have a very strong bidder that ties into audience. Um, and the newest move that we announced today was around creative uh, and a dynamic creative investment to bring that leg of the stool to bear. So I kind of think about those three legs of the stool in terms of being able to bid and buy smartly across channels, being able to activate data and audiences, and then being able to deliver the right creative and message. Uh, we think we have that solution in market today and, and we believe it's competitive. Ultimately, if we don't deliver returns, we won't get customers and, and that's the end benchmark that we hold ourselves accountable to.
Yeah, I see your point. Maybe we can make a, yeah, a small case from, from, the pra from, from the praxis. So if we see like, you have a new customer, a potential customer, like an agency or a brand. Yeah. So who's never, who, who's never, who never done uh, programmatic advertising before. Yeah. So um, how can you yeah, tell him how to do this? So they, they need their own knowledge to use the technology. It, one thing is to have it and one thing is to use it. Yeah, I think that the, the starting point is, you know, what are you trying to achieve, right? What are the goals that you have? And it could be, I want to sell more product. I need to get this message out there. I have a promotion. So I think we really start with, with what they're trying to achieve. And we dovetail that into, all right, here's the levers that you have available for you to achieve that. Um, Real-time bidding is, is one, one aspect of that. Um, you can do direct deals now, obviously, with deal ID support in, in, um, in programmatic advertising as well. Um, but the key is how are you activating data and segments to go out and do that. So if you want to sell more product, who are your customers? Uh, if you're already an analytics customer with us, how can we take that rich data asset in analytics, turn that into the right types of audience segments, and then deliver the right message to them at the right price? So we kind of start with what are, you, what are your goals, what are the assets that you have to, to achieve that, and then how is programmatic advertising the right avenue to deliver that? And, and you also offer service fees like that you, uh, that, yeah, that the customer can call an account manager who's explaining him, yeah, that's how you do it, that, that's what I would advise you? Yeah, well, I think especially in, in, in the German market, um, agencies and customers are, are very self-sufficient. They value technology, they want to understand it, and they want to sit on top of it um, themselves. Um, so uh, I think they're very in tune with sitting on top of technology platforms. So our job really is to provide the right support, the training, so we have certification. So when you come in, you'll get trained on the product and you will be certified after using the product for a bit to ensure that you have the right knowledge and you're taking the right steps to, to ensure success. Um, but Adobe's also committed to support. If it's agencies that are operating the platform on behalf of their customers, we need to support the agencies in the right way. So we certainly have local market. We have a team in Hamburg uh, to support those agencies and customers. They can call them. Uh, they respond. Um, if they need technical support, we have 24-hour technical support. So all those elements are in place. Um, but we're really looking to put our software in the hands of agencies and direct customers and ensure that they're successful. One last question. Uh, it was announced that you uh, acquired a company called uh, Tumwing. Um, yeah, why is that? So, uh, Tumri is a, a dynamic, tech, dynamic creative optimization technology. Uh, what we're seeing is as this growth of programmatic is happening, what we find is it expands the need to respond based on the impression that's coming in using the knowledge about the audience or the behaviors that you've seen, what product have they viewed with the right creative. And our uh, customers cannot produce enough creative to deliver out there. So what this technology provides is the ability to create templates, ingest the right data, think of product catalogs or offers, and then assemble that creative, the right image, the right headline, with the right template um, to the right customer based on the impression call that's coming in. So it is really the uh, dynamic creative assembly and delivery that personalize, that delivers the right personalized advertising experience. So again, you generate that strong ROI. I talked about that audience, the buying and the creative legs of the stool. Creative was really important and we just made a, uh, an investment by buying Tumri um, to expand our capability set there. Cool. Thank you for your insights and yeah, have a good time in London and uh, maybe we'll see you again next year.